Hi guys, welcome to the channel. And today I wanted to talk to you about how the fitness industry is conning you. So we've all seen it. You go into the, the shop um, and you see the fitness magazines and on there some ripped to hell guy or girl. Um, seems like they have this impossibly achieved physique and you think to yourselves, how can I ever get like that? And whether you like to or not, that's how you compare yourself, right? So we almost create this, this aspiration, this, this, this goal that it might not for everyone, but it might be beyond some of us just due to circumstances such as lifestyle or um, your commitments. You might have families, you might have a job, you might have a long commute. But essentially, that's the ideal, and that's what we strive to, to, to achieve. And if you don't achieve it, and again, I've seen this time and time again, you start to feel feelings of guilt. How can I get there? Oh, I shouldn't have missed that session. You start to regret the results that you aren't getting any time you tuck into something that's uh, like a that's not conducive to actually attaining that goal, so maybe a bit of cake or a couple of beers at the weekend, you might be full of guilt because it's not exactly how you're going to get to your to your goal. And to an extent, fine, yeah, there has to be a bit of give and take. If you want to have the washboard abs and you want to have the big muscles, then you need to do the diet right because it's more about diet necessarily. It's more about diet than training almost. But the big bugbear that I have of all this and why I think the fitness industry is conning you is the part that they miss out is these guys on the front of the magazines are fitness models. That's their job. And granted, they, they weren't always doing this, so there would have been a point where they would have been supplementing that with another job, and so they've, they've worked hard to get to that point where they can make that their job. So fair play to them. Okay, that's, that's, I, I'll concede on that point. But the part they miss out is that they've prepared for that shoot. So for for like eight weeks prior to the, the photo shoot, they've probably been eating things like only like chicken, broccoli, a very low carbohydrate diet. So although they, they look good in theory on the cover of the magazine, they've physically eaten and prepared in a way that they're gonna look at their best. So they're unlikely to walk around like that day to day. And if you actually look at the diet from a dietitian's point of view, it's not the healthiest diet in the world missing out a lot of food groups, not getting all the nutrition that they need. Um, so it can have, you know, this can have knock-on effects long-term, but we won't even go into that. But the point is, they are projecting this image to you that this is how you need to be to look fit, this is how, this is what fitness looks like, when in the reality, that's not the case at all. And we've all seen it, you look in the gym and you see like the big guy or the really toned person who's like really controlled with their diet, they might just eat chicken and fish and rice and it's very boring diet, not a lot of flavour. And I mean, for all we know, these guys, they, they might even turn down like going out with their friends and going out for dinner and things because they really want to stay on track with a diet. And that's fine, that's what they want to do. But for the majority of us, eating's a social thing. We want to get out, we want to enjoy ourselves. You might want to take a couple of drinks. Granted, you're not going to look like the fitness model, uh, the cover model on the fitness magazine if you do that, but why do you have to look like that to project this image of fitness? You can be fit and still have, a, for lack of a better word, a reasonable physique without actually going to the extremes of being this fitness cover model. So I think it's more about balance and you don't have to, you don't have, to have that image to be fit. So like, Let's say Mo Farah, for example. To see him in the gym, you probably wouldn't think that guy is a particularly fit guy because he's, he doesn't have the muscles, he's quite skinny. But if you saw him on the track, I mean, wow, he'd, he'd run anyone off the track, <laughs> like Olympic gold medalist, of course. So, I mean, in terms of cardiovascular fitness, he's as fit as hell. But if you saw him in the gym, would you think he's that fit? Would you go to him for advice? And same with plenty of other people out there, like 
they, they might know what they're talking about or they could be in pretty good shape, but just because they don't want to take their diet to that extreme, you don't believe what they've got to say. So, I mean, I think for more sanity and actually the fitness in the industry as a whole really needs to sort of address this because it's, I don't think it's healthy long term. Like, that's the aspiration and it, in my opinion for most people it can, it's probably unattainable because you just have other things going on in life that are more important. So next time you do see someone on the cover of the magazine and if you are if you are guilty of this and you look at it and you feel like that's where I got to be this is that's where I want to that's how I want to look then fine you can go for that but don't feel guilty and don't beat yourself up if you can't get there because ultimately you can live a very healthy life without having to get to that point. In terms of actually reducing your risk of disease and being fit enough for daily life, you can do much less, much less. And it can be as little as being able to walk for 30 minutes a day. That can be accumulated and that significantly reduces your risk of disease. So it doesn't have to be getting out there and pumping iron and getting the, the, the physique, the washboard eggs, the big muscles. It can be quite a simple plan really. But I mean, if you do want, if that's your thing, then by all means, please carry on. But don't beat yourself up if you can't get there. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks for listening to my rants. Um, it was a bit of a bugbear for me. I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Make sure you check out some of the other information on the site and follow along the home workouts as well that we provide. Check out the website as well, www.markgreennutrition.co.uk. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button because we only do this for you. And our goal is to essentially help you get fitter and eat better and improve your lifestyle. So thanks, guys. Take care.